Introducing the 2020 Australian Swan 1 ounce silver coin. This video will feature a review for this fourth release in the series, so stick around and check it out. If you enjoy this content and want to see more, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. The Australian Silver Swan series started in 2017, and now in 2020 we have the fourth release in the series. Each coin contains one troy ounce of four nines fine silver from the Perth Mint in Australia. It has a limited mintage of 25,000 pieces a diameter of 40.6 millimeters, a thickness of 4 millimeters, and its edges are reeded. It is a sovereign coin backed by the Australian government with a face value of one Australian dollar. The obverse displays the sixth generation effigy of Queen Elizabeth II to be featured on Australian coins. This royal effigy is unique in that it displays the queen's shoulders and full neckline. You will also find the inscriptions of Elizabeth II, the coin's face value, country of origin, and the year of issue. The reverse portrays a majestic Australian black swan with wings flexed up and backward, lifting itself within a body of water in front of a solid satin finished background. Around the outer rim is a mirrored band with the satin raised inscriptions of the Australian Silver Swan, along with the coin's weight and purity. Just above the wing you will find the Perth Mint Mark, a P, and the engraver's initials of JM within the wing design itself. Early European settlers discovered an inland waterway that could easily be accessed from the Indian Ocean and provided the necessary shelter from the coastal weather. They decided this would be an ideal place for a settlement. These settlers observed a very unique species of swan that was black in color and completely unknown in any other part of the world and thus decided to call their new settlement the Swan River Colony. Later, the colony was renamed Western Australia, and their original settlement would later become what is now the capital of Australia, Perth. Because of the uniqueness of this black species of swan, it soon became the symbol of Western Australia and was later adopted by the Perth Mint Company as their logo. Black swans are large birds with mostly black feathers, but do have white flight feathers. The bill is bright red with a pale bar and tip, and the legs and feet are grayish black. Male birds are called cobs and are slightly larger than the females who have a longer and slighter bill and are called pens, cygnets, or immature birds are a grayish brown with pale edged feathers. Australian black swans, as with their more traditional white colored cousins, are known for their lifelong commitment to their breeding partner and the fact that both parents will share the duties of incubating and protecting their young. Black swans, like many other waterfowl, lose all of their flight feathers all at once when they molt after breeding and they're unable to fly for about a month. It's during this time of vulnerability that they will usually settle on large open bodies of water for safety. The current global population for this species is estimated to be up to a half a million individuals. Don't let their serene appearance fool you. These birds are fearless, and given their large size, are quite capable of defending themselves against any intruders. They are definitely not an animal to be trifled with. My thoughts on the Australian one ounce silver swan. I've been a collector of this series since its inception in 2017, and find this fourth design to be one of the best thus far. I'm glad the design went away from the theme of the parent with its young. I really wanted to see a design of a bird in flight, 
but I guess I'll just have to wait a little longer for that one. I like this design, which displays the bird with spread wings and showing the details of the underside of the wings. I like the scene capturing the animal with its head tilted back, as is very customary when the bird is showing dominance or aggression. All previous designs have been very docile and static, but this design displays action and some attitude. I like that. I think keeping the background satin and solid really helps to focus the eye on the subject and gives you that open water feeling which is very typical for the habitat where this bird can be frequently found. The contrast of the simple raised satin font on a mirrored background ring is large enough to clearly be read at arm's length, which is not always the case with other sovereign bullion coins. The Perth Mint's reputation for quality control is second to none. Rarely do I find milk spots, scratches, or contact marks on their products. I only wish other mints would follow their example when it comes to quality control. This coin is worthy of every stacker's collection. What are your thoughts about the Australian Swan Silver Coin? Which of the four designs is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you to all who support this channel by watching the entire content, commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing. It is greatly appreciated. If by chance you are not yet a subscriber, then hit that subscribe button. Then be sure to select a notification bell to be notified as soon as I post up new content.